Hi, my name is Amir Asad Yara, and in this video I will be presenting Uber's case study from the book Managing and Using Information Systems A Strategic Approach. Uber is a ride sharing platform founded back in 2009 that connects independent drivers to riders. In recent years, Uber has also launched some subsidiary platforms such as Uber Eats or Karim, which connects those who deliver to eaters and restaurants. These platform's drivers globally spend 8.5 million hours on the road daily. Uber's business strategy mainly consists of three pillars. First, high level of user convenience, meaning that there is no need to call dispatch, wait in line, or wait from a curb. Riders just tap requests on their smartphone and wait for the notification that driver has arrived at their door. When they reach their destination, they say thanks and just get out of the car. The payment is automatically charged to customer's card or account. Uber app integrates innovative features and capabilities. Operating at low costs through innovation is placed at the core of Uber's business model. Also, depending on their purpose and budget, riders can choose between different types of services provided by Uber, such as Uber Pool, Uber Premium, or Uber Moto. Uber claims that these contracted drivers are independent and free, and actually they are the boss of their own work. But are these drivers as independent as they might think they are? Can they really decide when they want to work, where they want to do their job, how long they want to provide service, or how they want to operate and behave? Well. Even though there is no human manager involved in the process, Uber drivers are carrying their manager right in their pockets or placing them on their car dashboard. The truth is that Uber uses technology to exert a form of soft control over its drivers. Behind the scenes, Uber mobile app monitors, controls, and employs psychologically influenced interventions to encourage and motivate specific behavior in drivers or discourage wrong actions. Of course, there are means to do this. Badges or video game techniques play the role of some non-cash rewards of little monetary value. After all, who doesn't like receiving achievements and meeting some targets? Search for pricing strategy motivate drivers to work during times that they might not like. Also, before stopping the work and closing the app, they will be offered with the next mission and opportunity to earn more money. Something like binge watching in Netflix. So uh, let's call it uh, binge driving. Also, the app constantly sends words of encouragement to the drivers. Incentives and deterrents like these have always been parts of management strategies employed by organizations. As we all know, different organizational structures reflect different organizational strategies that are used to implement business strategies and accomplish organizational goals. These organizational strategies need to be aligned with IS strategies. Organizational strategy includes the organization's design, as well as the managerial choices that define, set up, coordinate, and control its work processes. There are different variables defining the organizational design. Variables which are either organizational, such as decision rights, cultural, or control variables, such as performance measurement and evaluation. 
these different design variables shape and optimize the organization's structure. In the Uber's case, for example, passengers rate their drivers. Since there is no human manager involved, the rider's satisfaction plays an important role to measure each service provider's performance. Or let's take a look at decision rights as an organizational variable. Here, the question is, who decides when, where, and how a driver should work? In the case of Uber, we may conclude that drivers don't have that much right to decide. Based on a report published in 2017 by CNBC and the information website, only 4% of Uber drivers remain on the platform a year later, which is very high. Also based on CNN Business, by stating that these drivers are independent con uh, contractors and not employees, they don't get rights such as minimum wage, uh, overtime, workers' compensation, unemployment insurance, paid sick leave, or on-the-job expenses. So what Uber drivers actually strike for? Well, drivers are pushing for better treatment and improved conditions. Here are some suggestions that might be worthy to mention. First, we need to consider the fact that not all incentives and deterrents work the same in every country and community. They should be tailored considering contextual factors and cultural elements. Also, Studying the main reason for such high turnover rate uh, might be helpful uh, to see if it is from financial aspects uh, or the fact that drivers don't feel that they are uh, really respected. Less restrictions and more liberty when the system believes that driver is experienced and has a good performance might be helpful as well. Also, sometimes communicating and interacting with drivers through an app might become frustrating. So uh, some human contact might be helpful in this case. Uh, Uber also can take advantage of different methods such as bidding or uh, using more efficient tipping policies. Thank you for watching this video.